Things You Need to Know About Acropolis of Athens The Acropolis of Athens is an ancient citadel located on a rocky outcrop above the city of Athens. It contains the remains of several ancient buildings of great architectural and historic significance, the most famous being the Parthenon. The word Acropolis is from the Greek words Akron, which means the highest point, and polis means city. Although the term Acropolis is generic and there are many other Acropolis in Greece. The significance of the Acropolis of Athens is such that it is commonly known as the Acropolis without qualification. During ancient times it was known also more properly as Scropia, after the legendary serpent man, Cecrops, the supposed first Athenian king. While there is evidence that the hill was inhabited as far back as the 4th millennium BC, it was Pericles 495 to 429 BC in the 5th century BC. Who coordinated the construction of the site's most important present remains including the Parthenon, the Propylia, the Erechtheion and the Temple of Athena Nike. The Parthenon and the other buildings were seriously damaged during the 1687 siege. By the Venetians during the Mauryan War when gunpowder being stored in the Parthenon was hit by a cannonball and exploded. The restoration project began during 1975. The goal of the restoration has been to reverse the decay of centuries of attrition, pollution, destruction stemming from military use, and misguided past restorations. The project included collection and identification of all stone fragments, even small ones, from the Acropolis and its slopes. The attempt has been made to restore as much as possible, using reassembled original material, and a stylosis, with new marble from Mount Pentelicus used sparingly. All restoration has been made using titanium dowels and is designed to be completely reversible, in case future experts decide to change things. A combination of cutting-edge modern technology and extensive research and reinvention of ancient techniques have been used. The Parthenon colonnades, largely destroyed by Venetian bombardment during the 17th century, were restored, with many wrongly assembled columns now properly placed. The roof and floor of the Propylia were partly restored, with sections of the roof made of new marble and decorated with blue and gold inserts, as in the original. Restoration of the Temple of Athena Nike was completed in 2010. A total of 2,675 tons of architectural members were restored, with 686 stones reassembled from fragments of the originals, 905 patched with new marble and 186 parts made entirely of new marble. A total of 530 cubic meters of new pentelic marble were used. During the Byzantine period, the Parthenon was used as a church, dedicated to the Virgin Mary. During the Latin Duchy of Athens, the Acropolis functioned as the city's administrative center, with the Parthenon as its cathedral, and the Propylia as part of the Ducal Palace. A large tower was added, the Francopyrgos, demolished during the 19th century. After the Ottoman conquest of Greece, the Parthenon was used as the garrison headquarters of the Turkish army, and the Erechtheum was turned into the governor's private harem. The buildings of the Acropolis suffered significant damage during the 1687 siege by the Venetians in the Mauryan War. The Parthenon, which was being used as a gunpowder magazine, was hit by artillery shot and damaged severely. Idealized reconstruction of the Acropolis and Areos Pagos in Athens, Leo von Klinze, 1846. During subsequent years, the Acropolis was a site of bustling human activity with many Byzantine, Frankish, and Ottoman structures. The dominant feature during the Ottoman period was a mosque inside the Parthenon, complete with a minaret. The Acropolis was besieged thrice during the Greek War of Independence, two sieges from the Greeks in 1821 to 1822 and one from the Ottomans in 1826 to 1827. A new bulwark named after Odysseus Andrautsos was built by the Greeks between 1822 and 1825 to protect the recently rediscovered Klepsydra Spring which became the sole fresh water supply of the fortress. After independence, most features that dated from the Byzantine, 
Frankish and Ottoman periods were cleared from the site in an attempt to restore the monument to its original form, cleansed of all later additions. The entrance to the Acropolis was a monumental gateway termed the Propylia. To the south of the entrance is the tiny temple of Athena Nike. At the center of the Acropolis is the Parthenon or Temple of Athena Parthenos, Athena the Virgin. East of the entrance and north of the Parthenon is the temple known as the Erechtheum. South of the platform that forms the top of the Acropolis there are also the remains of the ancient, though often remodeled, theater of Dionysus. A few hundred meters away, there is the now partially reconstructed Odeon of Herodes Atticus. All the valuable ancient artifacts are situated in the Acropolis Museum, which resides on the southern slope of the same rock, 280 meters from the Parthenon. I hope you have benefited from this very informational video. If you have any questions, then do leave it in the comments section below, and I will try my best to answer. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell for future video updates.